Have you ever been enraged? Have you ever just been full of rage? Have you ever been raging? Well, today at the Hero's Journey with Dr. D, we're going to put the fourth installment into a series of unforgiveness. And rage is the fourth element that takes you to a form, a point in existence that's just not good for you. It destroys you internally, emotionally, and physically. Sometimes it shows on the outside because it's really burning up on the inside. Sit back, enjoy the video. Happy New Year. So let's regain where we ended off. And we ended off with one of the different stages of toxic unforgiveness. Actually, toxic unforgiveness is a, is a point in the stages that you, you should never get into. But unfortunately, majority of people, well, I can't say majority, a lot of people, let's just say a lot of people, a lot of people tend to move up to a stage where it's very difficult to come down from. And that's toxic unforgiveness. But today we're talking about rage. Previously, in a previous video, we talked about the five stages that take you to a form of toxic unforgiveness, which gets you to a stage where it becomes not just emotional, but physically damaging to oneself. So we want to try to get away from that area. But in order to get away from that area, you really know, we need to know how you get to that area. First you start, I talked previously about the five stages. One stage was talking about frustration. The second stage is resent, being resentful. And the third stage is bitterness. And bitterness has a root to it. And when bitterness has that root to it, it's then, it's just, it tends to calcify. I use a form of um, frozen isolation, which builds a weight. I, I talked about it previously in the Root of Bitterness um, video. And the what happens is that the ice cube keeps that weight and holds you down and depresses you. But after that weight holds for so long, it tends to melt. Hi, for those who are clicking in on the first time, this is a Hero's Journey with Dr. D, here to encourage, to inspire, to motivate, and educate, helping you get beyond your first move and creating a better mindset today. If you find any value in this content, go ahead. Help me help you so we can help others by liking, by clicking the thumbs up and sharing. What you do is you join with me and climb with me as we try to make a better tomorrow today. And currently what we do, we upload a fresh video every week, once a week, and we do a live stream on Wednesdays and a replay with a live chat on Thursday. And also you can click down below and we cover all the major podcasts and click the link and find your podcast so you can listen while you drive to and from work. Let's use the illustration of your house as the holding cell for the ice, cu ice cube and the root. Now if the root is frozen and is on the kitchen counter at a room temperature, temperature it tends to gradually decrease in the solid form I meaning it melts gradually but if you move that ice cube over to the stove and put it on top of the stove where it's hot what happens that it melts quicker but when it melts the water is just not on the counter, it's on the stove, but the, the water soon evaporates. And if you're, if this is the illustration of your house, then the evaporation is going into your body. So you are producing steam and smoke that's not healthy for your body. And that smoke and that steam is what we call rage. And that rage which you hold, that toxic gas, is the thing that can ultimately destroy your very existence. But why do we keep it? Sometimes we just don't know how to get rid of it. But the thing is, how did you obtain it? But also, why do you why do you determine why are you determine to keep it? You feel like you hurt that person, don't you? I'm getting back at them. I'ma hold this thing in. Oh no, no, they living their best life and you hold it their offense with you.
But not after you stop holding it, it starts to melt and it becomes part of the fiber of your in internals and it affects you more than it affects them. Rage destroys. See, rage is not, it doesn't just start with rage. Rage is part of a continuum of anger. Now, when you start with anger, anger first starts with being irritable. You know, something annoys you, slight annoyance, and then it builds and builds. People think that anger is just and anger is just a warning sign to let you know that something's wrong and you need to address it. But what happens is that people generally don't address something when it first, when it first comes upon them. Or when it secondly comes upon them. Or when it gradually comes upon them. They let it linger and linger. And it doesn't just linger, it builds. It builds, it compounds. It's like a credit card. Compound interest destroys your credit and in this case destroys your life. So talk about it, really. So, why do you keep things in that causes vapors? I don't know. But, it can be toxic. So, the fourth, the fourth phase is rage. First is frustration. Second is being resentful. And thirdly is bitterness that formulates the roots And fourthly it seeps into your very fiber of the core of your being And becomes a vapor that becomes toxic And takes you out emotionally as well as physically Check me out next week For the fifth one That one of being a murderer Hey journeymen and journeywomen The video is up And we're finished for this part of this journey and don't forget to look up above to see the videos that, that were mentioned earlier and also I have a playlist that you can look and see if there's any else that can help you on this journey we call life and also remember this if you don't remember anything else if there's everything you get vertical make it your goal in life to move forward and never move back because your life's important I think so God thinks so. So it is important. So be encouraged and peace and blessings. And if there be anything else that you need and that I can assist you with, go down to my comment section and connect with me outside of the video. If you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time, things I can assist you with and to actually help you get beyond your first move, go ahead, check me out, give me a call, talk to me. But remember this. Peace and blessings. And this is Hero's Journey with Dr. D. Out!